Hi everyone, I'm children's book author and illustrator Grace Lynn. Uh, most people know me for my middle grade novels like this, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, or this one, When the Sea Turned to Silver, uh, but I'm also the author and illustrator of other kinds of books like early readers like this, Ling and Ting Not Exactly the Same, and Ling and Ting Share a Birthday, and I'm also the author and illustrator of picture books like this, um, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, and this is my most recent picture book, A Big Bed for Little Snow. Though this book, A Big Bed for Little Snow, is my most recent picture book, uh, this book right here, Mulan Before the Sword, is actually my most recent book. This book is an original prequel novel to the Mulan movie that was supposed to come out. I think the Mulan movie is now coming out in July, but this book came out a couple months ago, uh, just about the same time as this pandemic was hitting. So this book, like so many other beautiful books, has kind of gotten lost in what's going on in the world. But I hope that you get a chance to read it. I'm very proud of this book. Like I said, it's my most recent novel. And if you liked any of my other books, like Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, or Star of the Sky, or When the Sea Turns to Silver, I think you'll like this one too. Anyway, I hope that you have been holding out okay during the pandemic. I thought that it might be fun for you to see where I've been hanging out during the pandemic. Um, actually, I don't hang out all the time here. Right here, this place right here that I'm talking to you in is this is my studio. Um, it's on the top floor of my house. It's the third floor. So it used to be an attic that was changed into a bedroom, which we changed into my studio. Um, the, uh, most of the day I'm actually spending downstairs with my daughter, she's seven years old, trying to homeschool her. So it's been quite a, quite a balance. But this here, right here, is where I do most of my work, which also includes my podcast. Um, during this pandemic, I launched a new podcast called Kids Ask Authors. It's a podcast where I and a guest author answer one kid question and every episode ends with a kid book review or a kid poem or a kid joke. So I hope you guys get a chance to look into my podcast. Like I said, I would love to show you my studio while, while I have your attention. So um, this is kind of, my studio is kind of cut into two halves. One half is where I kind of do the writing part, and the other half over there is kind of where I do the painting and the drawing part. And so I'll start um, where, like in the middle. So the middle of the room kind of starts with this you can see it's really bright outside. That's the window seat. Um, I had that built with the idea that my daughter would come and sit and read. Um, it hasn't quite worked out like that yet, but we'll hope someday. So that's the window seat. And then I'll come towards me. This is the area where I do most of my reading and writing. So you can see there's my books there on the, on the bookshelves there. You can see like we're in the attic with the um, sloped roofs. And this right here is my sofa that I sit and do most of my writing. So I have a laptop and you can kind of see this sofa is actually a sofa that we bought at a garage sale and we got it reupholstered. And I usually sit right there on the couch. So that is where I do most of my writing. Um, and you can see these things on the shelf there. There's a bunch of my books as well as research books. And there's a bunch of really interesting um, things that I keep around just to to give me good memories or, you know, to inspire me. Um, let me see if there's something that might be interesting to you. This right here is uh, the stuffed animal that is in my picture book. A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. You'll see this book, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star, was very much inspired by my daughter because uh, this right here is my daughter. <laughs> and 
Uh, this is her stuffy, one of the stuffy she loved when she was really little, and I put this stuffy in the book. Um, you could see that this stuffy was really well loved. She's got all these kind of sewn marks where it kind of got worn out and left. And you can see this stuffy even has a belly button. Uh, it did not come with a belly button, but my daughter uh, was so into the belly button book when she was a baby, she insisted on giving all of her stuffed animals belly buttons. <laughs> so, that, so that is why this rabbit has a belly button, because our rabbit has a belly button. <laughs> so let me show you the other side of my studio. Hold on, I'm going to have to turn this off. Okay, now I'm on the other side of my studio, and uh, so I'll give you a little tour here. We'll go back to that window seat, which was the middle. All right, so here's that window seat. So you can see that the window seat is kind of like the middle of my studio. And so if you go to this side, this is the other side of my studio. And this right here is kind of where I do all of my drawing and painting. Um, I have a desk here where I do most of my drawing and painting. Unfortunately, um, right now, like I said, I'm not really doing too much um, drawing or painting. You'll see it's like a blank. <laughs> it's a it's a blank desk right now. Uh, but you can see some of the things that I worked on in the past um, and some upcoming projects. So uh, the project that I'm really excited about is this series of board books that I'm doing for Charles Bridge Publishing. It's uh, part of their storytelling math series. Um, so I'm doing a series of four board books and each one of them uh, tells about uh, um, kind of like a math concept, but I know when I say math, the first thing that people think about is like, oh, it's going to be numbers or adding or subtracting, but this is a storytelling math concept. So it's kind of to show kids and parents that math is all around us. Uh, math is uh, just simply seeing how high how high a plant grows, or seeing what will fit in someone's basket. These concepts, the idea that um, math is just numbers, is probably one of the things that always intimidated me about math. And what this storytelling math project does is that it tries to show people who might be intimidated by numbers that math isn't just numbers. Math can, is all around us. Math is the things that we do every day. So, and that math is really for everyone. Another reason why I was really excited to do this project is because I know that Charles Bridge was really, really committed to diversity. And so you could see um, the characters in my book, uh, they're based on my daughter and my good, my daughter's good friend who is black. This is actually the first time I've ever painted or created a character that was not Asian as a main character. Even though that the style that I'm using is not very realistic, I took a lot of photo reference and I made sure to use kind of a model to uh, do the character of Olivia here because I wanted to make sure that I didn't rely too much on stereotypes and that I did justice to characters that are not Asian since I'm so used to doing Asian characters. So I hope you look for these books uh, in the fall of 2020. So I guess that's it. Thank you so much for visiting me in my studio today. Um, please remember to listen to my podcast, Kids Ask Authors. And if you have kids at home, please encourage them to send in their book reviews, to send in their jokes or short stories or poems so we can play them on the podcast. We'd love, love to hear from them. Um, also, please look out for my new board books that come out in fall 2020, and please look for my new novel, Mulan Before the Sword. It should be available anywhere where you can get books these days. But most importantly, please, please stay safe, and please stay well during this time. Thanks so much.